good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic Body of Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a brand new episode of WWE Action Figure Appointment in the house for you guys. Been a little bit since we got an appointment episode, but if you guys did not know, Action Figure Appointment is pretty much a watered-down version of surgery. It's not as complex. It's usually some simple fix-ups and swaps that weren't enough, really, to make an episode. And I thought I was going to have one more to do in this episode, but I don't think I quite figured it out just yet. You guys can let me know what you think. Uh, I did a lot of thinking on it, but I just could not figure it out completely but today guys we're getting into these swippages and swappages here today and we got Batista, Eddie Guerrero, Ziggler and Swaggity Swagger Spiffy. But today guys let's go ahead and dive into what we're going to be doing here today for action figure appointment. Pretty good stuff going on you guys see we have the Elite 72 Batista in the house. I, I want like a lot of this figure but kind of a hard figure to track down. It's kind of expensive and everything like that but what we're going to do with this guy is we're going to be switching out his calves right here. You guys can see here he has the solid black calves right and he has the large knee pads. We're going to slide these boots off, slide these knee pads off, pop these lower legs off, switch the lower legs with the Elite 30 Batista so pretty much going to be exposing the tattoos that are on his left calf right here or his left shin and calf. We're going to put these calves and legs over on here and we're also going to put these smaller knee pads onto the Elite 72 Batista kind of switching it up a little bit. I wanted to find some boots to put on this guy like I was going to put these Ziggler boots right here on him which was the point of getting uh, getting these boots or getting this Ziggler down but I didn't know what, uh, what boots to put on or what boots to put the red ones on so I needed something to put these red boots on. I was, it, the, the illusion's dead now. So basically, I was going to switch out these boots and put them on a figure. I just cannot figure out what the hell figure to put it on. And I don't think it would look good on a Ziggler, you know? Like, I'm trying to think. I like them for this Batista, but since I already have a Batista from this exact match and moment, I kind of wanted to do something off the wall a little bit different. That's why I'm putting the exposed calf tattoos on here. We're going to put the smaller knee pads on here. And I was going to put, like, some solid black versions of these boots. You know what? I may just stick these boots over here just to see what it looks like, but I want to put these boots on a figure that has like a red attire that would make sense. You know, Bobby Lashley or Brock Lesnar or or somebody like that. If Ziggler had a red attire, maybe it would work. It would also probably work for like a Shawn Michaels or something, but I really can't think of anybody. Like I've literally spent multiple times trying to figure out what I want to put these boots on and I just can't figure it out. So I guess we're just going to do the Batista swap. Maybe I'll get creative or maybe it'll come to me as we go through the episode, but I do want to switch out those legs. We're going to put those Ziggler boots over there and everything like that. We're also going to be doing another swap as well as the calf swap. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. I was wondering, I was like, what the hell are we using the Ziggler for? But I forgot. We're going to put these boots from these extra Ziggler calves over on this. So we'll have the all white boots to put on the Elite 39 fix up over here. And then we'll also be switching out the boots of this Eddie Guerrero. So I have another Legends Eddie Guerrero as you guys can see with the gold boots. I'm going to be switching out the gold boots for his Legends figure. If you guys remember his Legends figure with these, the orange boots. God in heaven. These orange boots right here, I actually got this Swagger figure, the Elite 5 Swagger with the USA gear, the one he wears on MDT Live. That figure, when I originally got it, had the Eddie Guerrero boots on it, and then I ended up doing a fix-up with that one and switching out the boots and stuff, so I have these boots over here. I'm going to put these boots over on the Legends Eddie Guerrero. The oranges match perfectly to the Latino and some of the flame designs over here. They're going to match perfectly from that Legends Eddie Guerrero, so that's what we're going to be doing, guys. So let's go ahead and dive into the swappages. I already got the white trusty hair dryer. The goal is to try to do 12 minutes or less, so let's see if we can accomplish that feat here today and get into our appointment. I went on a toy hunt yesterday, and I didn't find a John Brown thing. It was actually really, really sad. It was super sad. They didn't have nothing, man. I was thinking, I have a new idea for a series that I want to do, but if I can't find a damn figure at retail, it's not going to be able to come to fruition, so maybe we can get that accomplished, but we do know we're going to have to slide up these, uh, these knee pads right here. We got to heat up all the lower halves here. I'm going to scoot this back. Even though the backdrop's easily going to fall once we heat everything up, we got to heat up these boots, these lower legs and boots. We also got to heat up these lower legs and boots, which is going to be freaking terrible. But these lower legs and boots right here. And then we also got to heat up there. We're all, we're, we're staying on the lower extremities here today, which is, you know, that's the best part. Still got to do that boot video. Everybody wants me to do the boot video. Best wrestling boots of all time, especially if we have some in figure form. So, I don't know. We can play around with that. Let me know what you think down below, but we're just going to stack up all these hoes and see if we can uh, get all these boots swapped. Now, I highly doubt it, you know, but anything's possible in the world of MDT. So, we got them all stacked up, guys. Let's go ahead and hit them with a white trusty hair dryer, conduct these swippages and swappages, and see if we can get a successful appointment out of these guys.
guys, let's go ahead and hit it. It's go time. Let's see if we can get everything going. Boots are actually extremely easy to swap most of the time as long as they get sufficient heat. Uh, they're actually really, really easy to switch out, so hopefully that's the case here today for our swaps that we're going to be doing. I'm afraid of the back half. The front half should be relatively easy. Eddie Guerrero should be one of the easier ones to get here as we slide on his one boot and then put on his other boot. So we'll look at Eddie Guerrero closer to the end of the video when we take a look at everything else. But not only do we have these extra gold boots now, I really don't want to put these on here. I'm going to put these in my fodder box just so I'll have them. This jacket swagger, I almost said Jack and the swagger, will go into the, you know, the thinking outside the box box as we continue to knock out that series as much as we possibly can so we got that right there other boot there now we have some calves right here that these eddie guerrero boots could possibly go into later in the future but here is the ziggler boots popping that out there popping that out there and putting these boots onto ziggler so this will be a nice little football attire right there and i i already spy a little fancy white gear right there coming to fruition already that's pretty beautiful oh yeah that's kind of fireific right there you got, you got a lot of something special going on there young man and and then over here, this is where the part gets deadly. Ah, uh, yeah. Not even feeling it. Stupid ass lower legs, boy. I swear I could fart in a bag and smell it. These large knee pads suck. They suck. Jesus Christ, man. All right, got that off. Urgh. All right, well, we got the one. God, that peg just fell out of there, man. He wasn't having it. All right, other leg. They're definitely not hot enough to get put back over here. So, I mean, why even bother with anything ever, ever? There's the one red boot. There's the other red boot. Not even close to hot enough. I just want to F up someone sometimes. All right, I got the one calf off again. Okay, that peg could be gone forever. Jesus in heaven and God and Lord. This, <laughs> this leg right here is not even close to hot. I hate myself. All right, guys, let's see how this goes now. Maybe the heat is sufficient. Really didn't want to heat up nothing ever again, but uh, you guys know what I mean. Okay, I dropped that peg too, so I guess, you know what? Might as well just throw both those pegs in the garbage because they're gone. All right. Oh, Jesus, this is hot. Mmm, my Lord in heaven. Switching out lower legs is never, ever, ever fun. Jesus Christ. I am about to throw a fit. I'm going to try the old classic way. Oh, my Jesus, man. The pegs are too long anyway, to be honest with you. Sticking that in there, putting this here. The other tatted calf, which was the whole point of the John Brown switch. Jesus Christ. Am I going to have to do the teeth method again? All right, we actually got it. Now what we have to do is slide these knee pads on. Make sure you get the one. Yeah, this is the left, so the left knee pad can go in right here. I could have used the open ones. You guys know, like, uh, I think the Elite 30 Batista actually had open knee pads when it first released, or, like, maybe they did a running change, but I'm pretty sure the Elite 30 Batista had open knee pads, like the, you guys know, the Randy Orton style, or the, the ones that pretty much everybody wears. Nobody really even wears these kinds. They always wear the open back knee pads, but there's the one knee pad, and then sliding this knee pad on as well. Christ on a sandwich. All right, we got it. Now, I think I'm just going to put the red boots back on. I just think it makes the most sense simply because the others, I don't have a spot for them, but I think that's everything we're going to do today on appointment because I can't th I can't think of anything to do. I really want to put the red boots on something, but let's just take a look at this and see what we got. All right, guys, so here's everything we did on appointment. I think it's actually pretty damn successful. I think everything turned out pretty damn nice, if I do say so myself. So let's go ahead and get started, guys. Let's start off with Ziggler. You guys can see here, like you can see the beginnings of a white fantasy gear. If I just painted over all that silver and white and changed up some of the colors a little bit, this would be super fire. I think this head sculpt's actually really underrated. I think that if I switched out the knee pads as well, because I'm not big on the big knee pads, even though Ziggler did wear the big knee pads, again, I like to be able to move the figure around. So um, the white boots with the Elite 70, even though they didn't add the black outsoles, I think it works out pretty damn solid. I still want the full white gear though. I'm still trying to figure out a formula for a, a full white gear fantasy attire for Dolph Ziggler for that, you know, that MDT White Fantasy series. But there it is right there. I'd like to see that finish before the end of the year to put them in that custom video for the, you know, the best customs of the year. But here's the Ziggler in the white with the white tape and everything. That is absolutely fire. Over here you have Eddie Guerrero with the boots and it's a very minor switch but it looks super clean. Like these boots with this attire, a uh, really nice boot swap, especially since, you know, I have all these different Eddie Guerrero Legends figures where I had them and then I ordered them and then the, the I finally got my 
shipment and I forgot about it. And now I have this kind of, not like abundance of Eddie Guerrero's, but so many that I can do some cool fantasies and, and attire swaps and fix up. So the orange boots really tie in well with the rest of the gear. And then here's the Batista and you guys can see the exposed tattoo right here. Smaller knee pads, red boots. I think that the red boots uh, don't look as good as they would on something else, but I still think they look good. I think maybe like black Batista boots uh, in this style would look really good. You guys know with his other figures, they come in that style. It's the Jack Swagger, the Brock Lesnar, the Bobby Lashley style of boots with the straps on there. Those are my favorite. Ziggler usually wears those as well. A little bit changed up nowadays, but I think it all turned out nice. I like the way the, the Batista came out, and if he were to ever show up in the pick fed or something like that, I would want him to look like this. Before even re-sign, I had that, you know, that custom that we made where I was trying to make what he would look like if he returned in my own attire, and now that we have the Elite 72, they pretty much made it themselves, but let's get into our random shout-out before we get out of here, guys. This shout-out is going to go to Pop YT or Pop YouTube here. This comment says, anyone else love Undisputed Era's gear tonight? He's referring to the all-red gear, and yes, I I absolutely loved it and I wanted to respond to this question because I do want to make that gear. I want to make customs of that gear. It'll just depend on parts and things of that nature but I really did like the gear. The red looked really really fresh. It was really saturated and everything like that but if you guys want to see the Undisputed Era red gear check that out as well as check out my reaction slash review of NXT TakeOver War Games but that is going to do it for today's video guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know what you think of everything down in the comment section below of appointment. Subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next video, thank you.